Hi guys! Welcome to our garden in the late July and early August. This was our first female squash flower, so beautiful and promising. And then this happened. The flower turned yellow and eventually died. So what I've learned is that insufficient pollination causes the flower to eventually die. Right after the first squash flower started to turn yellow, I spotted another new flower developing at the top. I knew I had to do something to ensure it wouldn't just shrivel up this time. I got up early this morning to see the flower open, even spotted a bee inside. But after the last experience, I was not going to take a chance. I just use a Q-tip to try and help pollinate the female from the male flower. As you can see, the squash started to develop over the next couple of days. You can do the same for cucumbers if there aren't enough pollinators around. This is a male flower. I know that because there is just a stem underneath and a female flower can be identified with a tiny cucumber underneath. To hand pollinate the cucumber, I use the male flower. Our corn has grown quite big. It has lovely colorful silks. The only problem is that some earwigs have made it their home now. I believe they like to eat the silks and the tops of the corn, which prevents the pollination. They also enjoy eating the corn ear. I had grown this specific corn from popcorn seed. It was so much trouble and joy, and I hate to see it getting decimated by the earwigs. Earwigs are nocturnal creatures who sleep during the day. So to catch the earwigs, we had to come out at night with a flashlight. As you can see, they have ventured out of the corn leaves and are happily munching away. To get rid of them, we just shook them off. Another method that I tried before was to use a roll of moist newspaper, hoping the earwigs would crawl inside. And a bowl of oil with a little soy sauce in it that served as a trap. I even tried some sardine oil. Nothing worked, I only got a few ants. Mayo, big mayo. We got blackberries. Good blackberries. They married. Let's not see this. Cucumber with tomato. Cucumber with tomato. Isn't that so funny? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see the difference in seed size for the overripe cucumbers. I will add extra milk powder for the roots of the plant but the blossom and rot so the other tomatoes on the same plant won't get it. So last night some squirrels attacked our corn. Looks like there's not going to be much left after the earwig attack and now this. We'll still try to save what's left of it with this little fencing. Too bad, the fencing was too low and the squirrels got more of the corn last night again. Last attempt is to cover the upper portion as well. I guess we should have just wrapped the whole plant up like a mummy. Notice how the squirrels devoured our corn sitting at the picnic table.
I decided to dry up some mint for the winter months. I am a little late to that this year as most of our mint has already flowered. Ideally stems without flowers should be picked. I will pick some lemon balm as well. It makes for a very tasty tea. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.